So I noticed a video from a company called Generation Genius that was playing in the pre-roll ads on many of my videos. And I had never heard of this service before. So in this video, I just wanna take a look at Generation Genius, see what it entails, and then maybe you can decide if this is for you. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, it's just my review. But before I do that, you know how this works. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel where each week I'll be uploading new videos on lots of different topics. So thanks for your consideration and now let's get to Generation Genius. So here's the website, generationgenius.com, that again, I found in a pre-roll ad. Now I don't wanna to spend too much time talking about the history of this, but the CEO of Generation Genius is this guy, Dr. Jeff Vinegar who was kind of like a celebrity scientist, kind of like a Bill Nye. At some point, he was able to meet up with this guy, Eric Roman, who was a former producer at Fox Family. And together, they raised $1.7 million to create Generation Genius, which is a public benefit company. So I looked up Generation Genius in Crunchbase. Again, you can see the total amount of funding. It's a very small private company. You can see one to 10 employees based out of the Los Angeles area. Now, if you look at the bottom, it does give you some information about Generation Genius, but essentially what it is is that it brings science standards to life through fun and education videos paired with lesson plans, activities, quizzes, read material, and much more. Now, this is a paid service. However, you can try it free for 30 days. So that's what I'm going to do. If you do choose for free, you can choose one of these options. That's because the plans are different for each role. You just enter your information and where you find it, and that's just an easy way to get started. Now, once you sign up for Generation Genius, this is a little bit of what the dashboard looks like. It does show you how many days you have left on your trial. You can do science lessons or you can do math lessons. Again, everything is 100% aligned to the next generation standards. So let's take a look. I'm going to do K2 and I'm going to search for the topic gravity. Let's see what comes up. Let's take this one, gravity pulls things down. So this is everything you get for each lesson and there's actually a lot here. The first thing is this video. Look out below! Hey Elijah, I'm just ex Because. So you can see it's a very kind of high quality, slick video that I think students would enjoy. You'll also notice that it does give you some of the things that students will learn in each video. There are discussion questions with the answer, vocabulary, reading material, here it is, that you can either play out loud or you can download as a PDF. There's also this, this is an actual DIY activity that students can do. It comes with instructions as well as an actual video, which will show There's how students below. can practice this concept in a hands-on activity, which is pretty cool. And then finally, every lesson does come with a comprehensive teacher guide, which does go through and walk through the different parts of this lesson. Now there are options for assessment at the bottom. You can see that there is a Google Form tab, which you can select one of these options. Now there's also this option, online quiz games. And I think this is interesting, rather than having this company build their own game, which maybe wouldn't work so good, they actually used ones that students know when students use in Kahoot and quizzes. So an interesting idea, you can also find a PDF of each quiz if you wanna print those out as paper assessments. And then finally, there is an exit ticket that you can use. So a lot of resources for teachers that are here. Now, it's also math as well. So if I just switch to math, you can see all of the concepts. Let me just do addition. Let's see what comes up. Lots of different options here. Now, one of the things that I did want to mention is that if you want to use these videos like in a learning management system or a website, anything, you can generate a student link. And it gives you a lot of really interesting options such as the option to only show the video, allow visiting of other pages, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna copy this. 
There it is, that is the video only link. So now here is the fun part. This is the plans and the pricing. You can see that for the home version, which is really only one device at a time, it's about $150 per year. Now that is math and science. Again, if you look at the classroom one, you're looking at $175 a year. This will allow a teacher to use this. It will also allow a teacher to share up to a link with up to 35 students. School is almost $2,000, and then if you want to get an entire district, that is an option as well. Now, you can also do this by the subject, so you're looking at about $100 per math and science individually. So in the end, this does seem like a really cool resource. It seems like the content in there is very high quality. Again, it's aligned to the standards, which makes it perfect, but it isn't cheap. So if you have the, re but if you have the resources in your school, then this might be worth checking out. But again, you can sign up for free. It doesn't require a credit card. So for 30 days, you can check out the service and make a determination then. So I don't know if anyone has used Generation Genius before, either in their classroom or maybe with their kids at home. But if you have experience with this, go ahead, leave a comment below and tell us your thoughts.